In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of the Smart Touch application that comes with most Kodak Alaris document scanners. The Smart Touch application allows you to scan documents with the push of a button or the click of a mouse. Once the Kodak Alaris document scanner software drivers have been installed and the scanner connected to the PC, a scanner icon will appear in the system tray. This icon represents that the Smart Touch application is running. These tasks can be used as they are or can be modified based on your scanning needs. To see or make changes to the scanning tests, click on the scanner icon in the system tray and then click on configure. This will bring up the Smart Touch application window. Here's the list of the predefined scanning tasks. For example, if you want to scan a color document and save it as a PDF file, select scanning task number one. You can also rename any of the scanning tasks by simply selecting the scanning task and clicking on rename. Under the scan to settings, there is a destination field. Select file if you want to create an electronic file from the scanned document and save it to the location specified in the folder path. Select Application if you want to create an electronic file from the scanned document and launch the application program for the saved file. For example, if your system is set to use Adobe Reader to read PDF files, the saved file will be opened using Adobe Reader. Select Printer, Fax Printer if you want to send the scanned document to a printer or fax printer. Select Email if you want to create an electronic file from the scanned document and send it as an attachment in an email. When this option is selected, it will automatically launch your default email program with the saved files included as an attachment. Under File Type, there are different file types to choose from. For example, select PDF Searchable if you want to create a PDF file with the addition of full text searchable features for locating words. The folder field is where you enter the path and folder name where you want to save the scanned images to. You can also click on the Browse button to browse to the folder. The file name prefix field allows you to enter in a name that will automatically be attached to the beginning of the file name of each saved document. By default, when scanning as PDF, SmartTouch will automatically assign the date and sequence number for each file named. If the prefix field is filled out, this name will automatically be put at the beginning of each saved document followed by the date and sequence number. You can also select Name File Prior to Saving, and you will be prompted to name the file before it is saved. Scan Options Edit Images Prior to Saving If this option is selected, the scanned images will be displayed in an edit window to allow for editing. Wait for more pages when feeder empty. If this option is selected, the scanner will pause when the feeder is empty and prompt you to add more sheets to the document feeder for scanning. Add Keyword to Document Field If this option is selected, you will be prompted to add a keyword to the document file properties to aid in searching for the file at a later time. Separate after blank sheet. If this option is selected, it allows you to put multiple documents in the feeder with blank sheets between documents. SmartTouch then creates separate document files for the set of scanned images after each blank sheet. Separate by barcode. This option allows you to configure the scanner to search your images for a barcode. The scanner will search each image and decode the first barcode it finds. If selected, it allows you to put multiple barcoded documents in the feeder. SmartTouch then creates separate document files for the set of scanned images after each barcode. In the Scan As section, by clicking the Setting button, you will see that there are default Scan As settings that are defined for use by the scanner. I will go over the Scan As settings in more detail in another Smart Touch from Kodak Alaris video. Be sure to check out other Smart Touch application videos for more information on how to use Smart Touch.